It was August of 1939. The Wizard of Oz was released and Hitler was invading Poland. Also, an historical movie about Cameron came out, but it was recently lost and just found. KQ2's Alan Van Zandt explains. They were, they the Cameron Historical Society's Larry Graham was digging through a closet in the city library one day when he came upon a treasure, old movies showing the city during the 1930s. The first film I opened of one canister, which just absolutely dried up and shriveled, wasn't, wasn't any good at all. So Graham let the film sit on the shelf for several months, but decided later to check out some of the other tapes. And look what he found. <laughs> Reel after reel of film in excellent condition, piecing together some of Cameron's history. Graham was even in one scene. I was tickled to death. I am in a band, famous. I have a saxophone. There you see Graham in the marching band, second behind the tuba. Another star in the movies is Peggy Sharp. Here she is in 1939 on the right, and now today. She says she loves the movies. Oh, I think it's, it's all of it. The history, what are you without your history? You're nothing. But she says there's one drawback to being on the film. If there was ever any question of my age, it's not a question anymore. <laughs> to edit all the reels together digitally, it took the work of Stan Hendricks, who runs a video production company in Cameron. It really wasn't that big of a deal. It was more difficult to find a projector that would actually play the old film than it was to put it into the computer and clean it up. The Cameron Historical Society presents... The final product is something the whole community can be proud of, if they can wipe away some tears of nostalgia. I just want to cry almost all the way through it, because I remember those old playing in the park and the band concerts, and the, you could walk home from the movie in the dark at night, and your folks weren't worried about you. You can't do that now. I miss it. That's the way it is. This process has Graham thinking about future generations. Will they be able to see history that's being made today? Can they run a DVD in 70 years from now? I mean, here we are running 16 millimeters right now that it is obsolete. Alan Van Zandt, KQ2, your hometown news.